All right, guys, welcome to lecture two. So um, today I'm going to be going through sections 1.3 through 1.5 from the book. So I know yesterday I introduced the rational numbers and I said, okay, we're not going to axiomatize these. And that's still somewhat true. But uh, what I said was, you know, some of those axioms or the, yeah, the sort of important axioms of Q that we care about are also axioms of R. So today we're going to go through basically all the axioms of, of R, uh, at least, you know, the important ones. Um, all right. Uh, not the ones that kind of define it as a set because that's difficult to do. So we're not going to be constructing R as a set, but we're going to be defining all the axioms that we need to prove what we care about about it. Okay. But a lot of those do come from Q. Okay. So that's, so I'm going to just start by introducing the axioms here and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how we can prove some familiar things with them uh, and, and so on. So let's start with um, what are called the field axioms. Of Actually, before I do this, hold on. Um, I, I, I kind of want to break this down a little bit. Okay, actually, so R has three types of important axioms, okay? There's the field axioms. These govern addition and multiplication in, 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 of real numbers, okay? Um, there's the ordering axioms. So those tell you, how, you know, basically the ordering axioms kind of define the properties of this symbol less than or equal to, right? So when we say something is less than or equal to another thing, anything that you can say, any of those statements that you can make, they kind of obey these rules, okay? of uh, what it means for the real numbers to be ordered. Uh, and then the last one is the, um, is the completeness axiom. So we'll get to that later. That's kind of the golden, you know, uh, the golden fleece of, uh, of real, of, of axioms of, of the real number system. That's what makes R special, okay? That's what actually makes R be the system that we want to use. Um, so what this does is um, asserts the existence. It's just one axiom of least upper bounds. So don't worry about this um, for all subsets, at least all bounded subsets. Okay. So I'll explain that later in a later video. But um, so these two properties also, I mean, all these axioms are kind of copy pasted from, from the rational numbers uh, come from Q. Because if you think about it, right, you can add and multiply rational numbers and you'll get other rational numbers. You can also compare two rational numbers with each other just fine. All of these things work within the rational number system for the first two bullet points here. But uh, the third one, um, the third one is special to R. So this is special to R. Okay, so with that overview, um, actually, I'm gonna end this video here and then I'll introduce the axioms in the next one.